Guys, what's up? It's Sean Arguello here. You guys went crazy for the last episode of this, at least for my standards. 138 views within 24 hours? That's insane. So, I decided, why not bring you the next episode? But, for right now, let's start our draft. There are three draft rounds and you will receive one pick per round. Choose wisely. You will need to scout players in order to reveal more details about them. If you need to trade out existing players, you can do so via the roster screen. It seems pretty simple enough, and I think we have the number one overall pick. So, we have our quarterback here. I might want to get a better quarterback and probably a better running back. Definitely need to work on defense as well. So basically, we need to work on every position right now. So, as of right now, I'm going to see who's available. Let's see if I can draft someone pretty decent, because we have a lot of cap space. So, unfortunately, the best quarterback is already off the board. Let's look at this Pollard guy. I like this guy, Noah Pollard. So, we are actually going to go ahead and pick him up. So, we're going to draft him. So, that is a good way to start. So, now we have our next pick. I think I'm going to need to draft a quarterback. This guy... Kalani Brandell. He might be the best option for us, but I'm going to see who the other options are for quarterback. Here's Brooke Keeft. He has some pretty good throw accuracy. Mm, arm strength will definitely need to be improved. And we have Irvin right here. Danny Irvin. Terrible arm strength. Awful throw accuracy, so we're not going to pick him up. Uh, let's see. That... No, we have Lynch. I forgot. Or right past this guy. Kareem Lynch. Moderate throw accuracy. Pretty bad arm strength. But we're going to have to pick up someone who's probably going to lead the team for years to come. Because our current quarterback, he's I think he's getting up in age. Let me see. He's 31. So I kind of want to trade him. I am going to trade him for an additional pick. So we need a quarterback right now. So trade him. We have two picks here, so as of right now, it doesn't look like I have a timer, so I have enough time. Uh, Brandel Crossy. He's 21 years old, he's a rookie. Uh, you know what? Duke Precise. I think I said Frosty on accident. Duke Precise. Or Kareem Lynch. We're going to pick up Duke Procise, and we are going to draft him right there. So we've got our quarterback, we've got our running back. We might need a better receiver or another option, and also the defense. So I'm actually going to trade this guy, our previous running back. And now we have one more pick in this round, and then two picks in the third round. And that's it for the draft. There's only three rounds in the draft. So we are actually going to look at... I also need a tight end, so I could pick up Kilgo right now. He has some pretty decent speed catching. We're going to pick him up. So now we have our... I need to pick up someone on the defense and probably another receiver, but I need to focus on the defense as of right now. Ellison, Durant, Bradley. So, let's see. Powell, he has some pretty awful tackling, so I don't want to pick him up. We're going to go with... Here's a defensive lineman. He's a true rookie. We're going to pick him up right now. And then I need another person on defense. I'm going to try to see if I can get someone on the linebacking core or maybe a defensive back. So, Powell. He has terrible stats. And the other defensive back, he looks like he is going to be a very, very bad pickup because his morale is not that great. Pretty decent speed. I feel like a linebacker probably would be an okay pickup, but I don't know, it's between Powell and Fern, Fernia, Fernia. You know what, I like Fernia a little bit more, and I think I'm going to actually improve him a little bit, so we're going to pick him up. So that will do with our defense, we're now at a two-star offense and a one-star defense, so you know, not that good, but there's only one way to go, and that's up, am I right? Okay, so that is a fairly decent start, and I think we can also look at some more 
free agents in the coming weeks. So we're going to actually go to free agents right now. So front office and then free agents. So let's see. There's a, some really good free agents, but I unfortunately am not going to be able to sign anyone right now because these guys cost coaching credits. I've been playing this game offline on another file and... Unfortunately, we are not going to be able to assign anyone until we get better, I mean, more coaching credits. So you can see right there in the top left, I'll actually zoom in on it. So you can see we have five coaching credits, and every single one of these free agents costs coaching credits in order to sign them to your roster. I wish it was just through the salary cap, but unfortunately, that's not how this game works, because I would sign... Wow, there's a five-star raider right there. You see, like, even if I want to sign him, I have to use coaching credits. So that's kind of unfortunate. So, looking at our offensive coordinators, I'm actually going to see who I can sign. I literally cannot sign anyone. So, uh, you know, this is not going to be a good idea, but I'm going to try to improve our stadium a little bit, and then we're going to go with training facilities or rehab facilities. Let's go with the training facilities. So that's what we're going to have to work with for right now can't do anything else as the of the moment and uh yeah we're gonna head into the first game and see how our new weapons so pollard is definitely gonna be our best option right now because he's our running back he has perfect speed great stamina brilliant catching and fairly decent strength for a running back i mean he's a rookie remember my quarterback my running back my tight end and my defensive line and defensive back are all rookies. So we're going to see how they do for right now. So we're going to go into our first game with our new weapons. And we're going to see how poorly this goes. So as of right now, let's begin the new season. You can now choose a player to return kickoffs. Simply head over to player profile. Select the green tag in the top left corner of the screen. Actually, why don't we do that right now? Um, who has the best speed? He definitely has the best speed, so we're going to have him as our kick returner. So Pollard is going to be our kick returner because he has the best stats of anyone on our roster. But right now, let's go ahead and start this game. So we got Chicago at Kansas City. Kansas City has a five-star offense and a four-star defense and look at our two-star offense and our one-star defense literally what can go wrong alrighty let's begin kick touchbacks if your kick returner receives a kickoff in the end zone you can attempt a dive to initiate a touchback you will then start your drive from the 25 yard line okay it seems pretty straightforward alrighty so let's begin Here's the kickoff, and it looks like we're actually going to do that touchback. So you just swipe forward, so it's basically to dive. That's basically what your, <clears throat> excuse me, that's basically what the touchback is. Audible, so you can now change the play formation by calling an audible. As your quarterback levels up, he will be able to call up to five audibles per game. That's pretty cool. Timeouts. When an offensive player is tackled, the clock continues to tick for a few seconds. You will now get two or three timeouts per half, depending on the quarter length. So I'm just going to stick with two-minute quarters because I don't want to be here all day. That allows you to stop the clock from ticking. Okay, seems pretty basic so far, so let's try this. And let's actually try out our new weapons. Let's see what we can do. There's a nice throw. Oh, that's a great start to this season. 15 yards right there. And I can see the stop clock option right there. So let's actually try to run the ball successfully with our great new running back. Oh, he's got some really good speed. Oh my god, that's going to be a touchdown. Second play of the season? Is that going to be a touchdown? Oh my goodness, I might get lucky. Oh my goodness, we're going to get lucky. Get there, get there. Touchdown, let's go. 60 yards to the house. We're just going to keep it simple with a one-point conversion because I don't like doing the two-point con conversions. I almost thought that was going to be a doink. So that was a perfect start to the season, and that is how you want to start your first full possession as a as a head coach as we already get the ball back. I guess Patrick Mahomes threw an interception. I don't think that's Patrick Mahomes, but we're going to see if we can get there in the... Down inside the five. Come on. Let's go. You know what? Let's just use our running back and let's just punch this in. That's easy. Pollard from three yards out. This is perfect. 
And like I said, we're just going to stick with the one point attempts every single time. That didn't even look like it was going to go in, to be completely honest. So our defense is not that great. We need a defensive... Okay. We're definitely going to need to probably trade away some picks for a defensive linebacker. Or defensive players. A defensive back or defensive... Why do I keep saying defensive? Linebacker or defensive back. So... You know, that's probably our best option, and oh my god, this kick return is fantastic! That was a 25-yard return out across the 40 as we get excellent starting field position for this drive. Okay, let's see if I can hit my tight end over the middle. You see, that's going to be a good throw. And that's somehow caught 15 seconds, just like... 15 seconds, 15 yards, just like that. And let's see if we can hit him again. Back-to-back -back plays, that is... Well, I thought he was going to keep running forward, but apparently I threw it a little too far ahead of him. But, you know what? Let's just go back to him. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, I need to stop getting greedy. I'm just going to throw it to him again. It looks like he has a step ahead. Caught! There's a first down. Okay, so we've got the passing first down. Let's get some... Not liking his route, but let's go. He's open again. He's the key player on this drive. He might get to the end zone. Oh my god, he's actually going to get so close. <laughs> So close, but you know what? He's the money man on this dr Okay, I just threw that way too... I threw that way too much. There you go. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit him for the touchdown because he was absolutely fantastic on that opening drive. And we are currently up 21-7 to after that touchdown. So let's see if our defense can do anything. Well, we sacked the quarterback, so that's a good... And somehow we managed to get the ball back. I'm not going to question how... I'm just going to say that let's get to the end zone, and he might actually get there. Let's dive in. This is automatically the greatest start ever. Against the defending Retro Bowl champions, Kansas City, this is fantastic. I, I wonder if it's an option for you to double doink it. Is that to doink it? Is that a... How are we getting the ball back? We're about to score again before halftime. Again, let's just keep it on the ground. Okay. Um, I'm not going to use a timeout just yet. I'm going to see if I can throw it. You know what? I've, I've yet to hit my star receiver. That's my tight end. I will take it, but I'm going to call a timeout. I'm going to see if I can punch this in. Uh, let's see if I can actually run it up the middle. Dive in to get another touchdown. Oh my god, we have a 34 point first half. Let me see if I can make it 35, otherwise I'm going to miss it. But like I was saying, I wonder if doinking a field goal is an achievement. Okay, so now we have a huge lead. And it looks like they're going to be 60-yard field goal. Wow. They drilled a 60-yard field goal. I wish I could play defense in this game. That's really the only thing I've found so far. I really want to play defense, but unfortunately, that's not an option. You know, I'm going to see if I, if I can change the play. Um, not liking our receiver's route. Actually, let me see if I can throw it to our running back. That's a huge play. Let me see if I can... Is that going to be a touchdown? No way. No freaking way. We're going to get a touchdown from that. Dive into the end zone. 75 yards. This is literally the best start we could possibly have to a game. And the extra point is good. We're up 42-10 against the defending Retro Bowl champions. This is literally a statement win if we do anything good here. Keep me on the ground. Okay, so they get a touchdown. So... So, unfortunately, we're not going to keep them to less than 17 points, but we do have a chance to go up 49 to 17. I want to see if I can put, possibly do 50. I want to see if I can return a kick. It's a great return. The longest kick return so far. You know, I could have sworn I had one longer than that. Okay, let's see if we can actually hit our star receiver. That's a deep throw. That's... Wish he had some better arm strength than that, because who knows, maybe I could have done something good. And instead, they are going to get another touchdown. I really don't think I'm going to be able to score 50 points. Maybe if I get a touchdown, I could try the two-point conversion, but I'm going to win this game regardless. Okay, so there's a really good kick return. That is a fantastic kick return out to the 40. You know what? Let's just keep running. We seem to have some pretty good success running the ball, and this is no different. We're going to get another touchdown, aren't we? If he has enough stamina... Oh my god, I'm I'm going to try to get 50 points. If I get the touchdown right here, I'm going to see if I can get 50 points. He's slowing down a little bit. Dive! 61 yards. There we go. 
I want to see if I can get 50 points, because I know for a fact that 50 points is actually an achievement. And we got it. There's 50 points. 50 to 25, and that was... I really skipped past that, but that's exactly what we needed to start this season. Statement win, doubling up Kansas City in the opening week against the defending Retro Bowl champions. I mean, you can't get any better than that. You know what? I'm going to try to see if I can play another game because as of right now, that was as good of a start as you can possibly have to a season. 50 points against the defending Retro Bowl champions. Oh, what is this saying? Defensive lineman Ricky Reed didn't play well today. What are your thoughts on his performance? Criticized player or it's on me. You know what? I'm actually going to take the credit for this. And it costs me a coaching credit, but you know what? I feel like that might not have been the right choice, but I can't just criticize him. He's a rookie as of right now. So he's going to get better. Oh, Pollard had himself an insane game, so he's going to upgrade in strength. So that is perfect. You know what? I'm going to just do another game. Why not? So we've got Denver now. So let's see if I can do that now. Offensive lineman Jordan Ward is a free agent looking for a team. He arrives at the training facility for your assessment. Uh, he's an offensive lineman. He's retiring. I'm not going to trust him. Simply because I don't think he's going to be a good option for us. But I don't know. Maybe I'll end up regretting that decision later on. But as of right now, let's head into the next episode versus Denver. And uh, looks like we're home for this one. Let's see some of my uniform options. We're actually going to keep it simple and Denver... Broncos country, they're going to cry. You saw what we did to an actual team, Kansas City. And we're going to see how we fare against a Denver team that may or may not be good. Bullet throw. You can switch between a low or high pass by tapping the screen with a second finger while aiming. Hey, we might as well try that out right now. See if I can... See if I can... Okay. I wanted to hit my receiver, but I didn't even notice I was about to get sacked, so... Let's see if I can do this. Okay, so it's caught. Stay on the sidelines. Okay, so that was a little bit better. So I'm gonna try this bullet pass thing. I tried to force it into a place where it obviously was not going to work out, but let's see if I can do that again. Does he have him beat? He does not, so that was a terrible read by me, so let's, let's just go for the first down for our tight end. I think that's going to get me enough for a first down. Indeed it will. So, let's go for our running back. He's pretty solid, and he, this is going to be no different. This is going to be... We definitely are going to be a running team. Until we can get a pretty decent offensive lineman, someone who's not retiring and has better stats than that other guy, we're going to be a running team as of right now. So this field goal, I doinked it. I actually doinked it, and that was an achievement. So I was right. Doinking a field goal is an achievement. So that's pretty cool. And uh, looks like we have the ball near midfield at the 41-yard line. Okay, let's see. Uh, our running back has a step ahead, and... Is that going to be another touchdown? Are we seriously about to get another touchdown? This is the greatest video game ever made. I don't care what, who, what you say. I am not going to get a touchdown. I should have... Okay. I really want to hit our receiver. And of course he doesn't catch it. You know what? Let's just punch it in. There we go. Punch it in from two yards out for with Pollard. And we're just going to keep the extra points. I missed it! How did I miss the extra point? I mean, to be completely fair, it was a very windy kick. I'm going to try to go for two next time. So uh, let's just continue running the ball. I'm going to get him a third touchdown. I was joking. You know what? I'm just going to run out of bounds. Better off just running out of bounds. I'm going to call my only audible. I'm going to try to hit our receiver because he has yet to have any... Okay, that was a horrible throw. I don't even know who you were throwing to, Shawnee, but you know what? You do you, I guess. Tight end, maybe? Tight end, he's caught, and he might actually... He'll go down to the five-yard line. Why not? Okay, I really, really want to hit my receiver. Oh! Deflection and caught! This is literally the greatest game ever. 
you know what, I'm gonna try to see if I can go for two, and I throw an interception. So the first interception of his, oh no wait, I threw one last game. Never mind, it's a fumble. We're gonna score before halftime, aren't we? Let's see if I can do a deep shot. Finally, his first catch of the season. And it goes for a touchdown. That's exactly what we needed. Okay, let's see if I can get the two-point conversion this time. Dive it, there we go. So 27 to zero. And it looks like they are going to be punting it. We have a chance to at least get into field goal range with our maybe possibly incompetent kicker, but let's see. There's a great start, great start. I'm gonna start calling some timeouts because maybe we'll get lucky. I'm gonna see if I can move the ball a little bit closer. There's the throw. I might be able to get a touchdown. Am I gonna get a touchdown? Am I gonna get a touchdown? I'm gonna get a touchdown. I'm gonna score a touchdown before halftime. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna be up by 20... I don't know how to count. We're up by 34 points. I doinked it again, but it goes in. Hey, does that count as a double doink? Okay, it looks like they are... No, they actually... They did not score, so let's just continue running it, because we are pretty good at running it. Oh my goodness, don't tell me he's going to get loose again for another touchdown. I will love it if he gets there, but this guy is really close to me. Get there! Ah, get there! Come on, come on. Let me see if I can cut up a slant. Ah, I, he ran out of stamina. I tried to get there again. But he ran out of stamina. I can't expect him to make every single play every single time. But this time, he's going to get there to the end zone for the touchdown. So we are up 40-0 to zero right now. I sure can hit those uprights, can't I? I mean, it doesn't help that it's extremely windy. So they're going to punt it again. Why not just run up the scoreboard? Okay, that was only three yards. Okay, so the momentum had to stop at some point. You can't expect me to just get touchdowns on every single drive, can you? Let's see if I can throw it over to the middle to the running back, and he's going to catch it. Getting to their side of midfield. Can I get another snap off before the end of the third quarter? It looks like I am. It was over the middle. I, I had my receiver. I just couldn't quite get there. I mean, I could just run the clock out, but I'm just going to try to add the stat. Okay, that's just a terrible... You better... That was a horrible play by me. I don't even know why I attempted that. So can I stop them from... No! Damn it! Damn it, they scored! I wanted to keep the shutout. If I didn't make such a stupid-ass decision, I probably would have gotten to the end zone for the touchdown. Instead, I threw a dumbass interception. Uh, come on. Okay, let me see if I can throw it over the middle. Oh, what elevation by my tight end to catch that ball. You know what? I'm not happy with that. We're just going to run up the scoreboard. We're just going to punish these guys. We're just going to keep going. That's a really good run. Inside the 20 to the 10, 14 yard line. I will take it. Like I said, we're just going to run up the scoreboard because I should have scored on that last drive and not throwing a bad interception. So we're going to get him. This is a career game for our rookie. Okay, let me see if I can actually try not to doink it this time. That is four uprights I have hit so far today. So we went 48-7. to seven. So we've scored 98 points so far in two games. I think that's a very successful episode for today. Now, we are currently the number two seed in the playoffs, so as of on and on that note, we are actually going to call it right there. Oh wait, before we go, what would you say to the fans who are disappointed in defensive lineman rookie Reed today? You know what, I'm actually going to criticize him because he's not, that's two weeks in a row now. The first one you can understand because he's a rookie, the second one, I'm starting to notice a pattern here and I'm not liking it so far. But, you know what, there's only room to improve, and as of right now, I'm going to call it right there. So, for all that being said, I want to thank everyone for watching this episode, and please come back for more Retro Bowl after this one. As of right now, this is Sean Arguello saying goodbye for now, but not forever. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>